Hello my friends and welcome back to another Super Mario Maker 2 video. Today we're diving back into some more Uno Moss levels. As always for those that don't know, Uno Moss levels are very short and showcase weird, wacky, and wonderful things that more than likely weren't intended to be in Mario Maker 2. Let's go ahead and fire it on up. First Uno Moss level of the day is We made by Soup. What? Great way to start out the episode. Dying to Monty Mole, friends. All right, let's go through the door. Uh, what am I supposed to jump? That was... Ep <laughs> what just happened? Did we get launched by the thwomp? Where was the thwomp? Wait a second, what? All right, avoid the Monty Mole. Now, let's take a look. I don't even remember seeing a thwomp. We, there is no thwomp. So we're going to ground pound onto this question mark block and you'll see a thwomp come up and essentially launch us like a catapult here. <laughs> That's crazy. Even It's even crazier the second time I see it. Very cool discovery suit. Now we have troll potential made by Palkia. Okay, friends. What do we have here? Go through the door because that's... I'm very confused as to what's going on. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Uno flipping moss here. So we go through the door and we're going to take damage from the saw. The ending is right here. It doesn't activate the ending. The ending only activates when we are Super Mario. Speechless. That's what I am. Jank Osek made by Sunaviz is next. This one has a clear condition where we have to reach the goal as Buzzy Mario and we have the clear condition in hand here. Okay, uh, I guess I'll take the hint. Hint. Enter in the pipe and hold down. I mean, I figured that's what I was supposed to do. Wait, won't I just go back down the pipe? You do, but you survive. Very strange, and I'm guess okay. <laughs> uh, very strange indeed. Very, very flipping strange. You survive if you press down. I I guess that one kind of makes sense, but I've never seen it put into practice like that. Now we have Bowser's Inside Story. You know what? I never played the DS Bowser's Inside Story. I need to play that sometime. I've heard it's... Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is going on? I don't know what's going on right now, but I kind of like it. <laughs> that was, uh, that was very intriguing to say the least. Holy rip. What, what did we just experience? Now we have giant jank made by Dabdala. All right, friends. So I guess we're supposed to not do that. <laughs> And that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Wait, what is this over here? Vine. Does this vine? Okay, so this vine takes us to a hint pipe. Description. <laughs> I think I understand. That is jank. That is... What's, that's what we call super jank in the biz. Yeah. <laughs> that was... Hmm. I want to try this one more time. Yeah. It's almost like as Mega Mario, his leg gets stuck in the wall and it uh, cushions the fall a little bit and you don't break the lower blocks. I don't know. That's a very uh, DGR explanation of what's happening. Another one by Sunaviz called Hitbox Land. All right, friends. What do we have here? Hold left. 
Okay. What is... Oh, my... Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to hold run, probably. Okay, so if you hold... <laughs> if you don't hold run, you get this weird animation with Mario. Looks like Mario's kind of spazzing out a little bit. But if you hold run, he falls right off. Interesting. Okay, let's go through the door. Now, am I supposed to just hold right here? Whoa! That was strange. That was really strange. It was like we were supposed to fall. I'm gonna try that again, but this time I'm gonna hold run in the second room. Now that we're in the second room, I'm gonna hold run. The same exact thing happened. So it doesn't matter if you walk and or run. Wait, you know what? One more time. This time I'm going to very slowly walk. Let's see what happens if we super slow walk through there. For science, we have to check this for the scientific evidence. Yeah, I barely went in and it shoves you right up in there. So it doesn't matter what speed you're going in that setup, you're always thrusted upwards and over. Now we have Excuse Me What made by Squidly. Apparently we're supposed to listen very carefully. Both my headphones are in. I'm turning up the game audio. Let's see if we can hear anything strange. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. What on earth is this sound effect we're experiencing? Is this a bunch of Twister McKisters? But the weird thing about it is as soon as we hit the axe, the music starts to play and then switches over to the end theme. Watch. I... That's got me mystified. Full Death by Doot Boyo is up next. Okay, we have a clear condition. We have to defeat the creeper. Oh, man. Let's see what I did there. Oh, yeah, I'm up in my meme game. Uh, we have to defeat the piranha plant creeper and beat the level. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, So watch this. Watch this. Watch very closely. I'll zoom in here. We kill the creeper, but and get the flagpole, but we die to the icicle. That's crazy. So how how do we beat this? Uh, let me try rolling, maybe. That's it. Rolling. Rolling was the key. Rolling lets us kill the creeper, and it propels us at a, like a 45 degree angle and not die to the icicle. That's wild. Now we have No Crush Me Auto made by Soul Blaze. One of my favorite things in the world is auto levels because I can't mess them up. Okay, I thought I was gonna die there. I can't die here. I can literally let go of my controller and enjoy. We should be dead. So watching this very carefully when we go through the door, it's almost like the launcher smushes us, but we get a piece which dropped on our head at the same exact time, which causes Mario to survive. Is that, is that what's going, I, I can't tell exactly what's going on, but that's the only explanation. It's like we're getting crushed and smushed at the same time. So the game automatically <laughs> defaults to Mario surviving. We have another one by Soul Blaze and this one's very old. It's called Item Switcheroo. Okay, friends, we have a P-Switch, a Muncher, and a door. How was this, <laughs> how are we to get through the door? Let's jump on the P-Switch. Wait. I have questions. I have questions. I have questions. So I'm assuming somehow the P switch and PAL are following at the same time, and the P switch like overpower. <laughs> now I have even more questions. What is going on? Uh, that's what it is. So the P-Switch and Pow are falling at the same exact time. And for whatever reason, if they fall on the same spot, the P-Switch overpowers the Pow. The great and mighty P, I told you guys. There's power in the... Where am I? <laughs> I didn't even know where I'm at. There's power in the P. 
If there's one thing you can take away from this video, it's that there's power in the P. Fire range upgrade by Henra is up next. All right, friends, I'll take some one-ups to start here. We have our red Yoshi. What are we supposed to do? Is that what I'm supposed to? Oh, so that's showing us. That's crazy interesting. I've never actually taken um, like close look at Yoshi's fireballs and how it ends up dissipating eventually. Like you'll see the fire just goes out. How do we upgrade it so that the fire doesn't go out? Let's go in the pipe and find out. Fire plus Z at the same time? That's all it is? Really? Was that it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Whoa! That makes no sense. That makes no sense. I don't even know what I necessarily did different there to make it... It was definitely an upgrade. We upgraded our Yoshi. <laughs> Argo push, no go voom by Sleepy Leaf, and this is another super old one. All right, friends, we have two warp boxes. The <laughs> the curiosity me, curiosity in me. Crouch plus over. That must be like the hint pipe. <laughs> Oops, I think I, I don't think I was supposed to see that yet. Okay, hold on. All right, so this is us pushing the car at a, a normal speed, and what's gonna happen is that's gonna eventually, 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 eventually <laughs> activate the thwomp to hit the P-switch, and we somehow have to get Mario to the goalpost fast enough. So that must be where the crouching and holding right comes into play. Let's try it again. You can already tell how much faster Mario is moving compared to just regularly pushing it. That's crazy, like look how much slower it goes. No, 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 no! <laughs> I almost, <laughs> I almost DGR'd that up, but thankfully we got through. That's crazy. Now let's look at clear condition delay hold right by Nate DeGreat. Friends, this level comes straight with a clear condition of grabbing all the one coin. So, holding right, holding right. <laughs> what? What was that? Wait, what was that? Okay, jump. You have to jump at the... Hold on, hold on. So you'll remember the first time, we did grab the coin, but the clear condition didn't activate until we were after the flagpole and thus died. So we have to jump here. We still died. Huh? So where do I want to jump at? I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> maybe I just want to pull back a little bit. This time I'm going to pull back a little bit. No, we're still dying. Holy, how do you beat this? I may have just cheesed this a little bit. I may have cheesed an Uno Moss a little bit. I cheesed that Uno Moss, man. <laughs> I cheesed it. If you guys didn't see it, I got a corner clip right at the beginning that gave us a little extra speed. <laughs> And so I could pull back a little bit <laughs> at the end. I couldn't get it any other way. It is really strange about the clear condition delay though. I never had noticed that, that there's a small delay when you actually accomplish the clear condition. We got another one by Nate called One Way Clip. We are supposed to do nothing as soon as we go through the door. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. What? What? Hold on, hold on, I can't even beat it. I need to see that again. This contraption, this setup looks so simple, yet it's... <laughs> yet it works very effectively at simply pushing Mario right through a one-way. What the dumb? We have a couple more by Nate. This one is called How Am I Soft Locked? Okay, soft lock. I want the 50 bagger. I was told to get the 50 bagger. 
Is that the soft lock? Because I'm Apollo Greed. Apollo Greed, is that it? All right, we're confirmed not to be able to get the, uh, what is, what is this now? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. We should not be softlocked here. You'll notice if you look very closely, the one way, we are above the one way. There is no reasonable explanation as to why we should be softlocked. So this setup must be doing something strange with the spring, the conveyor, <laughs> the shell, the cannonball launcher. I don't know what all is going on here, but magic is happening. Softlock City is not a beautiful city, friends. What if we just slow... Whoa! I, we must be standing on the cannonball shooter's janky hitbox, because if we go to the right, that's janked up. Finally, the last one by Nate is called Cannon Thwomp Clip. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? They're called Uno Moss levels for a reason, friends. Uno Moss here. So you'll see the launcher shove the thwomp up. <laughs> I have no idea what we just saw, but I'm glad we saw it together, friends. I lied. There's one more by Nate called One Way Clip with Power. We're supposed to hold down when we go through the door. So Nate is like the master of finding janky things with one ways. At least that's what I'm discovering. Okay, so let's hold down. Holding down, holding down. What? <laughs> what? Um, okay. Uh, I want to do this again. Again, for science. This time, I'm not going to hold down. Obviously, I don't think it's going to work, but I want to see. Okay, it doesn't release the POW until we... <laughs> so you get soft-locked if you start to crouch and slide and then let go. Yeah. <laughs> You get stuck. <laughs> MG Road Kills Disappearing Koopaling is up next. Reach the goal after defeating all one of the bombs. Bombs. We're supposed to watch very closely. We got the clear condition. Go through the door. <laughs> now you see him. Now you don't. It's weird. I've been watching a bu bunch of like magic movies and I'm reading through the book The Prestige, so <laughs> I'm all about the magic right now. Let's just consider this a magic trick. In the last, we must go deeper, made by Druid. All right, friends, we can see the mole is diligently guarding the axe. He does not want us to smack that axe. What? wonder if I can, like, explode my... Welcome to Softlock City, Mario. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It has nothing to do with the bombs. <laughs> the, mo <laughs> the mole was on our head for a split second. <laughs> now we have an Uno Moss by Box called Big Not Big Guy. We have a clear condition where we have to reach the goal of Super Mario Brothers. Okay, so it's nighttime with a Mega Mush. The box is a troll master himself, so... Uh-oh. We're dead, aren't we? Oh! We're not dead! We're not dead! We are surely alive! Don't call me Shirley! Vines are the new slope by Explosive is up next. What do we have here? We have... We're supposed to hold diagonal and jump here. Hmm, okay. This is gonna I'm gonna whip out the shirt tech here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
I don't seem to be having as much luck doing it to the left. I'm sure it's possible. But we, wow. We got through that we fit Mario in a crack that he had no business fitting in. No business at all. Dude Boyo's bullet bill transport is up next. We have another clear condition where we can't leave the ground. We're not supposed to press anything as soon as we go through the door. <laughs> uno, 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 mas. Okay, let me look at this carefully. I think I'm more confused seeing it the second time than I was the first time. What? Okay, it works. Now we have What Is Mario Doing? made by Buckaroo. Buck says this is the funniest thing he's seen in Mario Maker in a while, so your mom. I took the bait. I absolutely took the bait. <laughs> Look at the thumbnail. I was waiting for this crazy, janky, super launcher setup thing. And all I got was a your mom instead. And finally, another one by Duke Boyo called To Jump, You Must. All right, friends. Hint is in the pipe, but I don't... Oh, so when we jump, we got the old flip switch galaxy trick where if you jump, it activates the on off. Okay, hold on. Let me, let's go through the hint pipe and take a look. Hold arrow after door. Hold what arrow? What arrow am I holding? Oh, Link's arrow. <laughs> I was like, what direction arrow am I supposed to be holding? I think it's I think it's saying Link's arrow. Okay, so go through the door. <laughs> and I still I still found a way to mess it up. That's okay, I gotta see that again. I gotta see that again. Watch this. <laughs> like why do I that I just don't I think that's a fitting way to end this Uno Mas episode. I I think that's the weirdest thing we've seen all day. Ah, uh, who the butt am I kidding? This whole thing has been weird. All right, my friends, that's another Uno Mas episode in the books, the series where we're showcasing weird, wacky, and wonderful things within Mario Maker 2. As always, the absolute biggest of shout outs to all of the creators who are diligently searching through this game, creating hour after hour, trying to find the weird, wacky, and wonderful things that we get to experience. Also, major shout outs to Sparks and Psycho, who are big inspirations for these glitches and weird discoveries. Check them out in the description below. But for now, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, take care. And the biggest of thanks goes to the Fonzo8 and his wonderful family for saving up 100,000 channel points to appear in the credits of this YouTube video. Thank you all so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it.